Now, that front, that home page, when you go to Google, it's very clean, yep. a very mm -hmm. white page with that nice, neat box and those primary colored letters, Google. How did that come about? I asked Sergey this question because Sergey did the original design of the homepage. And I said, Sergey, it was a statement for minimalism. You know, what were you trying to convey? And his answer was, we didn't have a webmaster and I don't do <laughs> HTML. <laughs> and so basically we kind of stumbled into our signature look. I mean, it's a silly name if you think about it, but it actually stands for something very unsilly. Well, it stands for a number, which is 10 to the 100. And so when Larry and Sergey were looking for our, a name for the company, they want something short, six letters or less. The number is spelled G-O-O-G-O-L. Uh-huh, Google. But the funny thing is that Larry and Sergey are both terrible spellers. <laughs> and the way they spelled it, they, they wasn't taken. So they were like, great, we found it, and that's how much information we want to organize. And then their, their office mate said, that's great, but you misspelled it. It's a fun name. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a memorable name. Nobody forgets mm -hmm. Google. <laughs> There's a small group of you who have completely changed the world. <laughs> I mean, you can count them almost on one hand. You have changed the world, and in such a short time. I'm really proud of the way that we've touched people's lives when I think about the fact that what used to take an hour of research or a half an hour of research can now be just a few seconds. Yeah. The time that we've saved the world, the fact that we've helped people get better information and maybe make better decisions, better decisions on where to go to school or what job to take, and I'm really very, very proud of that. What advice would you give a young woman who is looking for a job? Really find something that you're passionate about and that you just love. Passion is really gender neutralizing. People ask me a lot, what is it like to be a woman at Google? But I'm not a woman at Google, I'm a geek at Google. Right. Part of that really levels things out to be something, you know, to be really, really passionate about something. 